Welcome to Acadia National Park in Maine. I'm Gordon. And I'm Alice. And we're roaming with the Ramses. We're doing the uh, Sand Beach Road right now. We're actually, it's the Loop Road headed to Sand Beach. Um, our plans kind of got changed a little bit because we had planned on doing the beehive hike today. But um, Elsa decided to Elsa, come through yesterday. Elsa changed our plans a little bit <laughs> because she came through and dumped about three inches of rain overnight. So we decided we'd give it a day or two to dry out before we go and do that hike. So the nice thing about Acadia National Park that there are two trails that dogs are not allowed on versus a lot of other parks where there's only two trails where dogs are allowed. So Sky gets to go with us today. We'll do a few little parks, a few little walks today. And, um, and then tomorrow when we come back to do the beehive, she'll have to stay home because that is one of them that they can't do. Okay. And we'll show you why. Tomorrow. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Strike in the wind of hopes now. Maybe these on my mind. We've taken off we the ground. This is Otter Point in Acadia National Park. It's just amazingly beautiful. The view from here is awesome. Um so the road is a one-way road, however, there are a couple cutoffs that will bring you back to the exit area so you don't have to do the full loop road. But I would certainly recommend doing the full loop road. We haven't even done it all yet, but... Um, I'm not even sure if we're halfway through yet. Probably not. And right along the, the loop road, there's a trail from Sand Beach down to Otter Point, it may even go farther than that. But it's a trail you can walk along on the ocean side, you can get down to the cliffs, kind of like what we are right now. So we just left Thunder Pole, and it was just, I don't even think a mile before we got to Otter Point just to see right. something else. And wow, you know, it's crazy. I told Gordon, I said, we've been to the mountains, we've been to the desert, and now we're at the ocean. What's, what's more to do? <laughs> Harbor, Skodak Island now. This is really cool because where we're at right now is a great place along the shorefront to bring a uh, lawn chair or something. Just sit and watch everything that's going on with the water. There's several people up here doing just that and we just finished watching these fishermen over here check their traps for lobster. 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 Can you say lobster? <laughs> You ready for this? What some people call the scariest hike in Acadia National Park? Oh heck. You know, if I could do Angel's Landing, I can do this. Well, you know, some <laughs> people say that it's as bad or worse than Angel's Landing. Yeah? yeah? Well, that's the mountain that we're going to tackle today. And I think we'll see you on the top. I don't want 
So we have the first of the views. How are you doing, huh? I am texting my coach that I'm getting my hike on today. Your fitness coach? My fitness coach. There you go. Let her know I'm with you getting my hike on too. Done. I'll bet you she's already up though. Probably. She was up at four o'clock in the morning the other day when I got up. Oh yeah? yeah. Sorry Kelly, seven o'clock on Sunday morning, you just got text. I understand that we get one chance, one chance. can't see from the ground. Wow, that's just beautiful, huh? So one of the kind of not so fun things that makes this hike a little bit more challenging is when you're the camera guy. So I have to have at least one hand on the camera. Today I'm using my cell phone mounted to a uh, DJI gimbal. But uh, it does make it a little harder in some of those sections where you might want more than just one hand. Sometimes you have to switch hands. But uh, it's all worth it. This one's a little bit lighter than the one I carried up um, Angel's Landing, so that's nice. See? See? Yeah. Well, I enjoy this view. There you go. That little great thing was a little scary, but we made it. We did. <laughs> Wet rocks. Be very careful. Yep. I just don't know why I keep doing this. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever that I just keep doing this. There you go. Holy just moly. like that. This is this is a little different than Angel's Landing. Yeah, a little bit different than Angel's Landing and the Highline Trail. Yeah. Highline Trail, you didn't really have to climb up. Angel's Landing, you did have to do some climbing, but... but this is pretty cool. Yeah. Hurry up, get up here. All right. I'm using my rock climbing days with Alan. Alice has already gone up this section. She's up top now. And I'm doing this section one-handed, so I can still record. Oh wow, look at the view behind me. That's amazing. Okay, so this is 
definitely going to be on my list of favorite hikes. And it's only the first one in Acadia so far, but wow. Your legs might appear in my YouTube video. Just saying. <laughs> There's some good looking legs, right? so. There you go, You're welcome. see? <laughs> you are welcome. Yeah, right. Yes, dude, probably. I like these more than I do the chains at uh, right? Angel's Landing. They don't move on you. Oh my gosh. Um, they do <laughs> recommend that you take the back loop down instead of going back down the same way you came up because there's just not enough room on the trail for passing in both directions. So from the top, you take the back loop down toward the bowl and then right back out to the parking lot to Sand Beach where you started. Yep. So we're getting ready to head down over here. It's not in frame right now, but it's Sand Beach. Yeah. And go check out the beach and see what's going on down there. And then we're gonna hopefully hit the Bar Harbor later. So as promised, we're making our way down to the beach. Sand beach, there's a whole bunch of rules and stuff. Pets are not allowed down here, so keep that in mind if you're planning a visit to Sand Beach. And also keep in mind that the water temperature can be like 54 degrees Fahrenheit in, in August. August. So, <laughs> so it's wicked cold. <laughs> yes, as the sign says, wicked cold. <laughs>